Research suggests we are born with a certain amount of ability to orient objects and ourselves spatially, but that also this ability can be trained and improved. Why would that be important? One reason is that women tend to fall behind in this area. Is it due to a difference in predominant activities of each gender as they age? We aren't sure. What we are sure about is that all people need this skill. Any profession that values both an artistic touch along with a scientific and orderly mind requires spatial orientation. People like surgeons, dentists, hairstylists, architects, landscapers, directors, x-ray technicians, set designers, and highway planners all must work in a visually abstract world in their minds. As our technology advances, even more and more professions are requiring the skill of mental manipulation. It's undeniably an important ability, and it is trainable. Like in a waltz, those who are not proficient and practice tend to give up and sit out. Those who are enjoy and use the skill. Unlike a waltz, however, this ability to orient objects spatially is not something used only at weddings. We need to make sure our students are prepared for the artistic and intelligent dance of their careers. It is for that reason, and because it is part of the educational standards for the state of Ohio, that this unit has been designed to support and focus your lessons. The unit begins with an introduction to spatial sense. First, students use manipulatives and a PowerPoint presentation to understand and mentally see mirror image concepts. The complexity of the exercises continues to increase and build as students practice manipulating three-dimensional objects mentally. It accumulates in a self-motivating and sometimes enlightening gender versus gender contest. Another exercise to help develop mental manipulation requires students to read topographical maps. This includes a PowerPoint presentation and ends with students trying to draw the side view of what they are seeing two-dimensionally from the top. The unit includes a vocabulary list of essential terms, a hot list of relevant and appropriate websites to help you and your students, and summative and formative assessments. There's also a review game to use for practice and refreshing skills before testing.